It's played host to three Super Bowls, but this afternoon it's all about baseball at Dolphin Stadium in Miami as MLB 06 The Show brings you another edition of Major League Baseball. This afternoon it's game two of this three-game set as it'll be the Atlanta Braves taking on the Florida Marlins. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you all the action. Joining me in the booth, Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. Dave, let's turn to you. What leaps out at you first when you take a look at this matchup? Well, I'm going to be keeping an eye on young Miguel Cabrera. It's easy to think of him as kind of a grizzled veteran to this point, but he's still just 22 as of opening day this year. After back-to-back -back 33 homer seasons... The sky's the limit with this kid. All right, Dave, we'll hear from Rex momentarily, but now it's time to check out the starting lineup for the 14-time defending NL Eastern Division champion Atlanta Braves, and it's brought to us by New Era Cap. Leading things off is the new leadoff man, Marcus Giles. He'll be at second base. Wilson Bediment bats second. He's at short. Andrew Jones will bat third and play center. After that, it's a great switch hitter, Chipper Jones. After that, first baseman Adam LaRoche. 2005 rookie phenom Jeff Francoeur is next out in right field. Then behind the plate is catcher Brian McCann. Ryan Langerhans hits eighth in left. John Thompson will bat number nine. He's on the mound for Atlanta. And on the mound to face them, the veteran right-hander Brian Mulder. A lot will be asked of Mulder this season as he'll be expected to stabilize the rotation. After missing all of 2004, he'll hope to improve on an up and down 2005. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Leadoff man Marcus Giles is digging into the box and we are ready for baseball. Marcus Giles. Underway this afternoon as the first pitch is pulled on the ground to third. Throw to first in time to take care of Giles for the first out of the game. Wilson Benjamin will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup, nothing in one. Oh, and when you got a good changeup like that, it just makes your fastball even better. And he misses with it, one and one. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Hermida is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Andrew Jones will stand in looking to extend his modest six-game hitting streak. First pitch to him. Pulled a strike on the outer half, 0-1. And one of the reasons this guy's been in the bigs for so long is that he knows the importance of first pitch strikes. Hit hard towards the hole. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Shepard Jones will try and get things going because as you can see, he's just not hitting the ball well this month. First pitch on the way. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Sets the target low here and it misses 1 and 1. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. A runner on first with two away. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. 
Throw on to Jacobs at first. He'll take care of him, and the inning is over. So they pick up no run, one hit, no errors, and a runner left. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. Starting lineup for the new-look Marlins reads like this. Hanley Ramirez will lead things off and be the shortstop. Next is Jeremy Ermita. He'll be out in right field. Following him is the first baseman, Mike Jacobs. Miguel Cabrera will bat in the cleanup spot and play left. Lenny Harris will bat fifth. He's at third base. Number 32 will bat sixth and play second. Matt Trainer is behind the plate. He'll hit seventh. Chris Aguila will bat next. Really struggling against right-handed pitching. Something to be aware of. Brian Moeller will bat number nine. And as you've seen, he is on the mound. And opposing him on the hill, well-traveled right-hander John Thompson. Thompson set back a bit by finger problems that limited him to just 17 starts a year ago. He'll look to make up for lost time here. A look at the Braves' alignment behind him, led, of course, by eight-time Rawlings Gold Glove Award winner Andrew Jones out in center field. Hanley Ramirez will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Hanley Ramirez. This is on the outside corner for strike one. And if he can spot that pitch there, he's going to have a lot of success in this game. Here's the pitch. Strike two called on the inner half, 0-2 now. And that's a good sign when you're throwing strikes to begin the game. job of holding up on the low ball there and it's one and two sometimes guys go down and get the soft stuff not there hit on the ground is shortstop throw on to first and one shortstop grounds out to the other one away Jeremy Hermida will try and turn things around here as he's really cooled off this month. Change up a little bit inside, 1-0. and A few more inches in and that's a pitch he'll turn on. Ball two now. A strike and it's two and one. A two one offering. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Not much you can do with a fastball there. Good eye. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. And at three and one, you can afford to look for something up a little, so he wasn't going to bite on that low one. So a runner at first with one man gone. And here's the young first baseman, Mike Jacobs. Mike Jacobs. Boy, not the way he wanted to start out here. It's 0-1. One of the secrets of his longevity in this game, work fast, change speeds, and throw strikes. Swing and a high pop-up. Out near the mound. Bedimit has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for out number two. Miguel Cabrera stands in now, and you see he's been hot of late, hitting in 10 straight ball games now. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh now 
Now a broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Throw on to LaRoche, takes care of him, and with that, the side is retired. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. Second inning coming up here in South Florida with no score. Adam LaRoche leads things off now in the top half of the second. Adam LaRoche. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And a base hit here to open up the second. Well, they tried to pull the string on the changeup that time, but it looked a little like the arm action might have given him away there. Jeff Francoeur stands in now, and you see he's been hot of late, hitting in 10 straight ball games now. Rounded to third. This could be two. One there. On to first. A double play. Still a scoreless ball game, so you thought they might be in business when they got the leadoff man on here. But just as quickly as he got on, he gets erased in the double play. Brian McCann will be the batter. Brian McCann. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Well, this is what veteran pitchers do. They know the importance of getting ahead in the count. Fouled back. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. So no runs here on one base hit, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing nothing. Lenny Harris will start things off in the bottom of the second. And he takes ball one. And after a very economical first, let's see if he mixes things up a bit. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, one and one. Here's the one one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Good discipline there. Good breaking ball, and it's in there, two and two now. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Number 32 will dig in here. Second baseman. Number 32. And he lays off there, 1-0. Good patience there to stay back and watch that all the way. one -oh pitch now. Now a high pop-up right back behind home plate. McCann is underneath this one. And there's the second out of the inning. Matt Trainer will step in, and you see by the numbers, he's been a much better road hitter thus far. First pitch coming. Now a swing and a fly ball. Francoeur is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So 
so they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and none left. We play two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Ryan Langerhans ready to go here as we begin the third. Ryan Langerhans. Now a ball hit high and deep, heading toward the corner and left. And no one will get this one. Putter low, one and one. They'll look for something a little higher. Now a ball chopped up the line to first. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. John Thompson will stand in for the first time here. John Thompson. There's the cut fastball, but it's low, 1-0. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Just couldn't recognize changeup out of the pitcher's hand. On the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Marcus Giles trying to keep it up as you see that he's really turned it on here this month. Ball one. And, oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. One, one on the way. Good location on the outside corner there. One and two. Yep, calling a fairly wide strike zone here. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Swung on and rolled towards first. And don't quite know what was going on there, but he's into first base safely. Wilson Bediment will dig in now. Switch hitter batting left. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. Pretty routine over there for Jacobs, and that ends the inning. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are tied nothing nothing. Chris Aguila makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1-0. Oh. He'll come in with that thing, but guys won't chase down there. The 1-0 pitch. In the air to straightaway center field. Jones is right there, one down. Brian Moeller will get his first shot at it here. Brian Moeller! And a curveball to begin the at-bat, 0-1. And, and that's a sign of a veteran pitcher getting ahead early in the count. Now the pitch. 1-1. One one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Oh. 
swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And the throw to LaRoche is in time, two gone. Hanley Ramirez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's the first offering. Lays off 1-0. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. And he swings over the top of it, but chops it foul back to the backstop. And a sinker there, swung on and missed for out number three. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. On now to the top of inning number four, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Andrew Jones will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Fastball just misses for ball one. And he hasn't been behind many hitters to this point, but he's down 1-0 and here. Now it's 2-0. and And he finds the black here with a curveball, two and one. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty, two and two. Swing and a liner toward right center. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. Leadoff man on here for the Bravos in the fourth. Nothing doing on the scoreboard for him so far. Let's see if that offense kicks into gear here. Shepard Jones will try and get things going because as you can see, he's just not hitting the ball well this month. In there, no balls and a strike. Ah, and that's all about hitting your outside corner. Swing and a grounder to first. They might get two here. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. So a runner on first with one out now. And stepping in is the first baseman, Adam LaRoche. Runner at first, Chipper, now the pitch. And a foul ball straight back. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. The second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. So they pick up no runs on one hit, no errors, and no one left. To the bottom of inning number four we go, and we are tied nothing nothing. Jeremy Hermida will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and Swing and a ball pulled into right. 
On is Frank Coor, but this is a base hit. Well, with that, they finally get themselves into the hit column here in inning number four. Now let's see if they can do anything with it. Mike Jacobs will try and turn things around here as he's really cooled off this month. This pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. LaRoche is on the bag over there at first, so the right side of the infield is wide open. Pause, now the pitch. Swing and a bullet to the right side. Miguel Cabrera will dig in, and you see by the breakdown, he's really seeing the ball well this month. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Might have just been looking at one there because that's the pitch you can normally handle. Swing and the ball lifted in the air to straightaway right. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Lenny Harris will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. swing as he pulls this one into right and that'll get down out there and it bounces around down there now and a relay home number 32 to dig in 0 for 1 in the ball game and here's the first pitch right there for strike one Boy, take out the potting soil because he just planted that backdoor curveball. Boy, and that is just a terrible hack. It's nothing in two. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Francoeur is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. Matt Trainer trying to keep it up as you see that he's really turned it on here this month. And a sinker misses here. No, a called strike. I take that back. And that's an indication of why he's been struggling on the mound this half inning. That pitch is right down Broadway. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. And if he's smart on the mound, don't expect to see this one anywhere near the zone. And he looks at a sinker for a cold third strike, and now there are two gone. We'll watch with you at home. This is from field level, and that pitch looks to me like it's right at the knees. That's a good pitch with two strikes. So two men are gone here on the floor to fourth, and then standing in is Chris Aguila, the center fielder. From the belt, the pitch, and this is taken outside for ball one. Three runs already home here. Wing shot back up the middle. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Brian Moeller digs into the play. Brian Moeller. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. 
four runs here in this half inning. From the stretch. Oh, has him looking silly here. It's 0-2. Had success with that fastball. Why not turn to it again, 0-2? And this one's in the dirt. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So it's four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Marlins on top, four to nothing. Jeff Francoeur will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. First pitch to him. Swing and a ground ball to short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Brian McCann will be the batter. First pitch coming. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. Good idea trying to work the outside part of the plate with the hard stuff. And this is on the outside corner, or thereabouts at least. It's 1-1. One one. Fastball called strike. One and two. Bases are empty. One man out. Here it comes. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is out in front of the mound. Two gone. Yeah, pulled the string at him there, Matty, and he was so far out front, all he could do was pop this straight up. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth, and digging in is the left fielder, Ryan Langerhans. First pitch coming. Lined into left center, and that's going to get down out there, and now it'll rattle up against the wall. High throw, and it's over his head. But he is in there as they can't get him at second. Pete Orr will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number four, Pete Orr. He's set, now the pitch. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Hit hard on the ground is short. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So five shutout innings for him thus far. Last half of the fifth coming up. Florida's out in front, four to nothing. Kyle Davies is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Number 26. Kyle Davies. Hanley Ramirez will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Hanley Ramirez. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. Off speed pitch and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. Took him right up the ladder that time and it's one and two.
swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. One away now for the Marlins in their half of the fifth, and that'll bring forth the youngster, Jeremy Hermida. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. And there's ball one. Hermita awaits the 1-1. One, one. High in the air and deep down the left field line. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Mike Jacobs will dig in, and as you can see, he's been a much better hitter at home this year. Mike Jacobs. And that misses ball one. And this is on the outside corner, or thereabouts at least. It's one and one. Look into McCann, the one one. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. Struck him out, so a fine inning here as he strikes out the side in order. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and none left. Five innings complete. The Marlins lead this one four to nothing. Marcus Giles will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Marcus Giles. At the knees, strike one. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. He's got it. Throw, got him. And I'm going to tell you, that is an incredible play. Wilson Benamit will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Now a swing and a shot foul. And you might want to put a helmet on that guy. And this is going to be a foul ball. Hit hard towards second. But there to take this one is the second baseman. And that's out number two. Andrew Jones will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to Jacobs at first. He'll take care of him, and the inning is over. And that's six shutout innings thus far, as he's been very difficult to solve. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Marlins on top, four to nothing. Miguel Cabrera will dig in, one for two thus far. Miguel Cabrera. And they go 
right after him on the inside corner for strike one. And good hitters like this will just let it go by and wait for a pitch they can do something with. The pitch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Fouled back. Ball two. And this thing starts out a strike. That's a tough pitch to lay off. And this one gets away, and it ought to be scored a passed ball. There's a drive. He got a lot of this one. High and deep to center. Leaps and he makes the catch. He took away a home run. Wow. We're going to need to take a look at this one again. This ball's ticketed for home run land, but look as he gets up and takes it away. Oh, doctor, what a play. Lenny Harris will dig in. One for two with a double in this one. Lenny Harris. Swing and a liner towards second. And that's in there. Base hit. Well, he's not showing his age whatsoever. This guy can still flat out hit after all these years. Number 32 will dig in. Did a sacrifice fly earlier. Too low, 1-0. Got to make sure at the plate you don't hit one on the ground here. The next pitch. And this one's too far inside, ball two. Two zero pitch, and that one's over for a strike. Caught a lot of the plate with that bender, but he still wouldn't offer. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air in foul ground. And he's able to stay with it, but he did not make that look easy. Yeah, he tried to hold back on the changeup, but he's already committed his swing, so all he can do is pop this up. Matt Trainer will step in, and you see by the numbers, he's been a much better road hitter thus far. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Yeah, very late decision to swing. That looked pretty half-hearted. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. One one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. Two out with the man at first. And he 
he struck him out, so he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. So no runs, one hit, no errors, and one man left on base. Seventh inning coming up. Florida's out in front, four to nothing. Shipper Jones will dig in, 0 for 2 thus far. Shipper Jones. And a ball, 1-0. Now the 1-0 pitch. On the corner away, a ball and a strike. He had him out in front, but he couldn't pull the trigger. Swung on and missed, one and two now. Swing, hard hit ball to second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Adam LaRoche will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. And he goes the other way and hits this ball high in the air and deep to straightaway left. And that is off the wall. He'll get it into second, but he'll be in there with a double. We'll take another look. This ball's pretty well hit, and it's going to bang off that teal monster in left as he pulls in with a double. Jeff Francoeur will dig in, and you see by the breakdown, he's really seeing the ball well this month. Hard hit to third. Throw to Jacobs is in time, and that's out number two. Brian McCann will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Brian McCann. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Hermida is back to the track, though, as he pulls it in, and a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Seven shutout innings for him thus far, as he's really been in control here. Time to get up and stretch here in Miami. The Marlins lead this one four to nothing. Chris Aguila will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. one -oh on the way. And he takes a cold strike one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Well, when you're hitting the outside corner at 94, you'll see an awful lot of swing throughs like that. Fouled back. Low with the fastball that time. Two balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Boy, look at this thing. Two seamer with some hair. That's tough to get a bat on. Pokey Reese Your will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Bench hitting for the Marlins. Number 11. Pokey Reese. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And 
And this one's over for a high strike, one and one. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool a guy. It's one and two. One out, nobody on. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and yes, he went around. It's strike three. Henley Ramirez to try and turn it around. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts thus far. And this ball's hit pretty well, high and deep to straightaway left. Longer Hans will have room though as he makes the catch and the side is retired. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. Eighth inning coming up. The Marlins lead it four to nothing. Your attention, please. Pitching change for you now as the now veteran Joe Borowski takes over on the Number mound. 48. Joe Borowski. Ryan Langerhans will get us going now fielder. in the top half of the eighth. Ryan Langerhans. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. In there, strike two. Look to be pretty close, maybe even a ball, but you better refocus in a hurry up there. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And he will get there as he puts this one away on the run for the first out of the inning. Edgar Renteria will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Bare-handed pickup. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Marcus Giles trying to keep it up as you see that he's really turned it on here this month. And this is hit well towards the hole. Oh, a tough play. Throw not in time, but boy, was that a remarkable effort just to get to that thing. Wilson Benjamin will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. At first is Giles, the pitch. Spins and pulls this one down the line at first but foul. Now a ball hit high and deep, carrying towards the corner. And no one will get this one. And look out as that one ran in and got him. 0-2 count, obviously not trying to do this on purpose. And man, that'll get you pounding your glove as a pitcher. Andrew Jones will step in. A ground out victim as last time. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Both teams with six hits so far. Split-fingered fastball there inside, 2-0. and And there's a good chance up 2-0. and He's going to see a fastball here.
Has a look, now the pitch. And this will be chopped foul back to the screen. Lays off the change up, and he's ahead in the count now. Three and one. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Chipper Jones will stand in as the possible time run. So expect him not to get cheated up there with the bases loaded. Now here's the first pitch. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Hard to get the barrel of the bat on that one. Good eye. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. Foul. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And he'll get a good look at that thing as he can look at it all the way in. The two one. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. Might be a good time to get someone cranking in that pen. Swing and a ground ball, and this should get him out of it. And they will get the force at third, and that's that. So they pick up no runs on one base hit, no errors, and three men left on base. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Florida's out in front, four to nothing. Your attention, please. New pitcher coming on here is Your making his way to the eight. mound is the left-hander John Number Foster. 46. Jeremy Hermida will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Right fielder, Jeremy Hermida. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Good late break there. Good pitch to get ahead on. Now a breaking ball runs in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. And here's a swing and a foul ball as that was just wide of the bag. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. Mike Jacobs will get another crack, one for three thus far. Mike Jacobs. Here's the first offering. Swing and a ball sliced, fouled into the seats down the left field line. Swing and a miss that time as Jacobs falls behind here. No balls and two strikes. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. Well, nothing to be ashamed of here. He's just running into some good pitching here this afternoon. He'll bounce back. Miguel Cabrera will get another crack. One for three thus far. A chance for Chipper at third. Throw on to LaRoche takes care of him, and with that, the side is retired. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. 
Last chance for romance. The Marlins on top, four to nothing. Adam LaRoche will dig in. He doubled his last time. Adam LaRoche. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, Matt, as you say, get on any way you can. This one hurts a little more than others, but he's on nonetheless. Jeff Francoeur will dig in, and you see by the breakdown, he's really seeing the ball well this month. Not even close on that swing. No balls in the strike. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Very enticing, but a good job holding up. Now the one and one pitch. And there's ball two now. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Mm, I bet he'd like to have that pitch back so he could have a rip. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Swung on and a fair ball rolled weakly up the line at first. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Don't know quite what happened there, but he couldn't get to the base in time, and that's going to be an infield single. Brian McCann will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And that misses for ball one. Swung on and missed. One and one. Litter taken here, two and one. And that's a sign of maturity not to go after that pitch. <laughs> Off speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. First and second here with nobody out. Full count pitch on its way. On the ground is short. This could be two. There's one. On to first to complete the double play. Chris Risa will be the new pitcher. Now pitching for the Marlins, number 44. Ryan Langerhans will stand in as their last chance now.
Down the line. Oh, but just foul. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. The relay. And he is in there with an RBI triple. Brian Jordan will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 33, Ryan Travis Boyer is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Number 50. And, oh my gracious, where did that pitch miss? It's called ball one. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Two outs here with a runner at third. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Now a ball lined back over second. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Marcus Giles trying to keep it up as you see that he's really turned it on here this month. And he gets ahead 0-1. Good idea to take a strike here. You need base runners. From the belt, the pitch. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. And he swings and hits this ball high in the air and deep to left center field. Oh, and a great play to make the catch there. And with that fine play, the ball game is over. <laughs> That's an appropriate way to end this one. He gave it a pretty good ride, but in the end, it was close, but no cigar. So it's the Marlins guys that claim the victory here in suit. Let's check out our majestic play of the game from this one. Matt, let's take another look at the real turning point here. A couple of men are going to score as this one goes for two bases, and they would put it on a cruise control from here. Offense in this ball game, but what offense was provided came primarily from this guy, our upper deck player of the game. Yeah, Matt, he was certainly a factor here. You see the two hits for him in the game, and he was certainly instrumental in helping his team win. So that'll just about wrap things up here in this one. For Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this afternoon. Once again, the final score: the Marlins win it four to two. This has been a presentation of MLB 06, the show. For more, log on to MLB06.com. So long, everybody.